Hello everyone, myself Nitin Kumar, Assistant Professor Niftam Kundli. Welcome you all in a training program on cold chain logistics funded by GIZ Germany and jointly organized by CII and Niftam. Today we will discuss hazard and list assessment in a food industries that is called HSCCP. After completing this module, one can able to define the definitions of HSCCP, principle of HSCCP, the terms associated with HSCCP, as well as the hazard associated with food supply chain management. HSCCP stands for Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point. The terms associated with HSCCP. Critical Control Point a procedure or practice in food handling preparations that will reduce or eliminate or prevent hazards. What is hazards? Hazard is unacceptable contaminations, microbial growth, persistence of toxins or survival of microorganisms that are of a concern in food safety. Monitoring, Monitoring stands for checking to determine if the criteria established by the critical control point have been achieved or not. Risk Risk is the probability that a conditions will lead to hazard. The next term is severity. Severity means the seriousness of the consequences of the results of the hazard. A system which identify, evaluate and control hazard is known as HSCCP and this is very significant to the food industries all the food supply chain management HSCCP in cold chain analysis of the hazard inherent in the manufacturing harvesting and distribution systems of a food chain establishing the process which will be critical control point in the distribution chain establishing critical upper and lower limit in the product can correlate uh, like temperature, time, pH, establish written critical limits, establishing a validated monitoring procedure, have in place in a system for corrective and preventive actions, be able to verify that your distribution system delivers the product in the form as intended. Ultimately, having a successful HSCCP program that is properly implemented and managed, that means employee and management both should know the process of HSCCP approach. In the long run, an effective HSCCP program will be less costly than a poorly managed one or not having one at all. That means it is a very essential for food safety quality assessment. At the cost, one can recall of a lot of frozen food could be more expensive than implementing a sound HSCP program before product launch. Urgent status of HSCP. HSCP is the heart of all global food safety initiative that is GFSI like BRC, IFS, F. S S C S Q F F S M S mandatory requirement is the most of the food industry. Next slide. What is hazard in food safety? As per Todets, a biological, chemical, or physical agent in or conditions of food with the potential to cause an adverse health effects are termed as hazards. The hazards are basically of anything with the potential to cause harm in a food is termed as a food safety hazard. The hazard can be of three types, physical, chemical and microbiological. In case of physical hazard, the sources can be from the raw material uh, that foreign bodies introduced during the production, preparation as well as a packaging. It can come through the human, it can come through the air, rodent, bird 
anything. In case of chemical hazard, hazard which is very significant with respect to the food poisoning or the illness, the sources can be raw material, water, uh, pesticides, cleaning agent, etc. In case of uh, microbiological hazard, the sources can be present through the raw water, uh, this uh, raw material, then uh, micro multiplications of microbes, toxins material, etc. As far as physical hazard is concerned, these are the objects that normally found in food that may cause illness or injury to the customer. It can be divided into two types. One is natural hazard or unnatural hazard. In case of natural hazard or organic or inorganic foreign material can be characterized. In case of unnatural hazard, stones, human or animal hair, paste droppings, matter fragment, glass sets can be uh, put together. Next is chemical hazard. Chemical compounds are usually uh, used in the food industries or food supply chain in the cleaning, in pesticides, mycotoxin, a heavy matter, food additives and that can create a hazard. Next slide. In case of biological hazard, the types are macrobiological or microbiological. In case of microbiological, it can be through bacteria, fungus, virus, microscopic parasite or algae. HSCCP is very important and in this slide I am discussing the applications of HSCCP. Assemble the HSCCP team, describe the product, identify intended use, construct flow diagram, on-site verification of flow diagram, list all potential hazard, conduct a hazard analysis, determine control measure, then determine control critical control point that is CCCP then determine CCCP patch then determine critical control points establish critical limits for each CCP establish a monitoring system for each CCP establish directive with actions for deviations that may occur during the course of study, establish verification procedures. At last, one need to establish record tipping and documentations for the future reference. Slide. Step 1 that is very important assemble HSCCP team. The team member is very important for this quality evaluations. Develop and derive the company HSCCP of food quality and safety policy. Next one, ensure the HSCP uh, project continues to move forward and remain valid. Elect a HSCCP team leader, report on progress regularly, then ensure a correct balance of technical as well as industrial experience. Assess the need for specialist expert knowledge or engage these resources as and when required. Step 2 is related with the product. So one has to define the scope of the work. This shall include a description. Next slide. Patch. Next slide. Step 2 that is describe the product or you can say the define the scope. This shall include a description of the type of product stored or distributed and any particularly specific storage or handling conditions. For example, temperature control, maximum stacking height in cold storage, water damage, conditions of light, etc. The product flow from received storage and dispatch transport to the recipients of the product. This shall include any clause dotting or intermediate storage steps which may be used in distributions and any backhaul or return activities. Next slide. Step number three. Identify intended use. The intended use should be based on the expected normal uses of the product by the end user or the consumer. In a specific case, vulnerable groups of the populations like old, very young and the state or the hospitalized persons 
have to be considered. This slide gives us a brief uh, idea about the vulnerability of the populations. It can be old, young, pregnant, sick. Next slide. Step number four. Construct flow diagram. The flow diagram is very important for the future reference or for uh, patch. Next slide. Step number four. Construct a flow diagram which is very uh, important for your activities. The flow diagram should be constructed by the HACCP team with the help of people working in the intermediates area. The flow diagram should cover all the steps in the operations when applying HACCP to different operations. Considerations should be given to the step preceding and following the specific objectives. This slide will give you certain diagram which will be used in the flow charts. The first one which is in oval in shape is known for operations, the arrow is for transfer and the rectangle is sphere is for patch. Next slide. In this slide certain shapes is presented which will be actually using inside a flow chart. The first one is oval which is known for operations and the arrow is known for transfer. Rectangular represent inspection then delay. Trundle is storage then combined activities as well as the process input and output. Step 4. After inspections the material will be unloaded then temporary storage at the receiving dot then if the material is required for blast freezing, after what it will go for storage at a particular temperature, then pitting, loading, then at the time of loading, one has to be inspect the material. So this will be uh, patch. Slide number three. Next slide. Step four. The material patch. For any told storage, when the material receives, it has to be inspected first, then unloaded. After unloading, it will be stored into the temporary storage area that is known as the receiving deck. Then after, after blast freezing, whoop, patch. For any told storage, the material will be unloaded after due testing then it will be done through the blast freezing after blast freezing it will be stored into the told storage at a designated uh, temperature further during the course of uh, dispatch the team has to check the quality parameters before dispatching next slide step number five verify the process flow diagram confirm the processing operations against flow diagram during all the stages and hour of operations and arm the flow diagram where appropriate. Now coming towards the principle of HACCP, the first principle is conduct hazard analysis. List all the hazard at each step from preliminary step to the end. Then hazard analysis should cover likely occurrence of hazard and severity of their adverse health effect qualitative as well as quantitative evaluations of the pulgence of the hazard, production of persistence of food, of toxin, chemical or physical agents, then consider the controlled measures. One should control measure can control one specific hazard and more than one hazard can also be controlled through a specific controlled measure. Next slide. Source of potential hazard. It can be through microbial growth, it can be through physical contamination, chemical contamination, physical damage, or alginate materials. Patch. 
सोर्स ऑफ पोटेंशियल हजार्ड द फर्स्ट वन इज माइक्रोबियल ग्रोथ रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम टेम्परेचर एब यूज ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट नेक्स्ट वन इज फिजिकल कंटामिनेशन दैन बी थ्रू ग्लास प्रोटीन लाइट पार्टिकल फ्रॉम द पैलेट्स डस्ट देन इन केस ऑफ टेमिकल कंटामिनेशन द प्रोडक्ट इज पायलेस क्लीन इन टेमिकल्स फिजिकल डैमेज दैट द ब्रेक इज पंचिंग ऑफ द पैकेज इन वाटर डैमेज अलर्जेनिक मटेरियल क्लॉस कंटामिनेशन ऑफ द रूज प्रोडक्ट और आउटर पैकेजिंग नेक्स्ट इज स्लाइड कंडक्ट ए हेजार्ड एनालिसिस पोटेंशियल हेजार्ड दैट इज फिजिकल केमिकल और बायोलॉजिकल देन द रिटॉर्ड इज वेरी एसेंशियल फॉर द मॉनिटरिंग एंड द करेक्टिव एक्शन फॉर द फॉर एनी फूड इंडस्ट्रीज और कंट्रोल चार्ट कंटिन्यूस और इंटरमीडियंट मॉनिटरिंग रिटॉर्ड वन शुड गो फॉर ट्रेंड एनालिसिस एंड दैट विल डीव द रिटॉर्ड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द कंजिटिव और सक्सेसिव इंसिडेंट इन एनी फूड प्रेमाइसिस सैनिटेशन रिटॉर्ड इक्विपमेंट कैलिब्रेशन पर्सनल हाइजीन पर्सनल ट्रेनिंग प्रोडक्ट और परचेजिंग स्पेसिफिकेशन सीपिंग रिटॉर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट रिटॉर्ड पेस्ट कंट्रोल रिटॉर्ड एवरीथिंग विल टर्म्स अंडर द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन पार्ट ऑफ एच एस सी सी पी ऑल रिटॉर्ड मस्ट बी ड्यूरी साइन विद द डेट सो इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी हैव डिस्कस द एच एस सी सी पी डिफिनेशंस द टर्मिनोलॉजी एसोसिएटेड विद एच एस सी सी पी टाइप्स ऑफ हजार्ड एज वेल एज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एच एस सी सी पी थैंक यू